The cover was illustrating one of the feature articles on research in this issue of the magazine on one of the professors in the geology department who's working with the city about how they're dealing with wastewater and how they're not having it go into the waterways. The inspiration came from the idea of like a foggy window or a misty window in the morning, how you can see water like trails and it makes, you can kind of make shapes of it. So I thought that might be a really interesting solution. The acetate was what I cut the stencils out of. It's a clear acetate, it looks just like really heavy plastic. Also, water doesn't damage it, so it doesn't soften, the edge stays sharp. That's what we were looking for. Joe, the photographer, located some sort of a spray gun so we could spray it on. We got a piece of plexiglass lit from behind so it would look like a window. Then we just start spraying to make the water start gathering and flowing and running. We really couldn't control it. It's, it was a matter of just getting all the pictures and piecing it together to make it make a perfect optimal picture that looked natural. Yep, that's it. We tried to do as much as we could in camera. We got a lot, but I knew I would not be able to get all the texture just that way because it's not nature. So there were about 150 pictures I worked from. I then took it into Photoshop. It started out with a base of just the shape, then started adding different layers. It was probably about 30 different layers in the end be able to have an idea, have all the people get excited and think, yeah, it's great, and then you do it, and then they're happy with it. So, yes, it'll be very interesting to see if we get any positive input from the readers.